today is the third story from the gateless gate from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul rips gutes finger when anyone asks the boy what this master preached about the boy who raised his finger gute heard about the boy's mischief he seized his seized him and cut off his finger the boy cried and ran away gute called and stopped him the boy turned he said to gute gute raised up his own finger in that instant the boy was enlightened gute heard about the boy's mischief the father the family head head of the family saw the child is going out and talking about the father and mother talking about the richness of the family but he himself has not become the rich tomorrow he will ask a part of the property without creating a bigger property he has been given all the facilities he can roll like a thousand men more here if the family has got this much of property he can make thousand times he has got the power at least one more extra circle before the boy would even tell i come from the so and so family gute heard about the boy's mischief it's a mischief he seized him and cut off his finger what gute did is you are going around and telling that my master knows yoga and i know yoga without you practicing master knows pranayama master is a med- meditation master writes a lot of books what about you have you observed that is where then the boy has to be stopped so they used this as a finger the boy raised the finger master went cut hold of the finger and cut him off now he cannot use the family name he cannot use the father and brother's name he has now stand on his own leg leaving both hands and both legs and then cried climb one more step ahead on another one story i said after 12 years the master gave a test to the disciple what was the test climb the tree the same plant which he planted 12 years it has been such a huge big tree he said climb and the disciple kept on climbing and climbing and came when he reached on the top the wind started shaking the tree he started moving from the left to the right the boy turned around and asked master 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 said now climb one more step ahead and he climbed one more step there is no more space to climb any more and he turned around and thought the master will ask now ask him to come down he turned around and asked master and master said now leave both the legs he said what and both the hands and climb one more step ahead that means don't cling on to my body leave both the legs and both the hands and take your own step create another one big property before you come and ask for the property the boy turned he said to gute gute raised up his own finger in that instant the boy was enlightened gute cut off and then the boy was finger was cut off gute immediately raised his own samskriti that finger pointing to the moon that finger pointing to one step list to 10000 steps you have the right to point only when you are practiced the boy looked and he found now he has to leave both hands and both the legs he has to be he has to prove that his talent his power to roll like a thousand men more here in got enlightened if he, because he was conscious he was observing otherwise he couldn't have been enlightened the boy even though he was raising the finger he was deeply involved he and the master was one the son and the father was one the daughter and mother was one hence you may be became enlightened yes enlightened means he can now roar like a thousand men warrior no disease can enter his body because he know what goes inside his body he knows exercise is a must for every diabetes sugar patients exercise is a main part of the thing a lot of exercise a lot of drinking water a lot of vegetables and then they will learn once you know that much they know what can go inside the body when gurudev is about to pass from this world he gathered his monks around him i attained my finger zen he said from my teacher ten ryu and in my whole life i could not exhaust it then he passed away he got that finger means got the samskruti even then that samskruti was so much 
was trying to train as many people as possible in that Sanskrit. In that Sanskrit will never exhaust. The fixed deposit, your money will exhaust. The house, what you build, can go off, can deteriorate. But the Sanskrit, that one finger, what he got it from his master was that Sanskrit, that culture he was telling, he couldn't exhaust. And in my whole life, I could not exhaust it. Then he passed away. Yes, he got exhausted. It is still more and more, it is deepening because the, the, the meaning, the Jews, because it's slow cooked culture. The more you cook, the more the juice comes out from the vegetable. Slow cooking, 45 minutes. Yes, the water first. You don't even have to put water. Water comes out of the vegetables. And then the salt comes out of the vegetables. Oil comes out of the vegetables. It cooks of its own. That is the original taste of the vegetable. That soup. Same as your mind and your body. Then he passed away. Practice that Sanskrit. Gutis one finger. Mm -hmm.